The next day they come again now for the actual uh, giving of the treatment. We give them mesoprostol, 600 micrograms, sublingually, and we let them wait in that recovery room now for the actual procedure. But you explain everything. You explain yeah. the client what the client is going to expect. The client might, might bleed, the client might not bleed. The side effects of the treatment that you are giving them, you explain everything, everything. You, just before you start, you must explain. It's a month that you must explain how does it work, how does the treatment work, and what to expect and what else. Okay. Then after that, now we take them to the room that I was showing you. Mm -hmm. Then in that room, we do the, the manual vacuum aspiration. Okay, so yeah. the pill that you give them, that opens the, what how does yeah, the, 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 the pill, the, 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 the cytotype that you're giving them, it's causing the, the uterus to be soft okay. and open the mouth of the uterus. And how long does that take? Do you make them, is it an hour or two? Uh, no, it's not an hour or two. As the experience, the longer you make them to wait, the quicker the procedure is. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want trauma. We don't want them to experience such much pain because yeah. it, 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 is, yeah. it is painful. Yeah. You give them the pills, the, 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 the side side the and then after an hour or so, we give them the, the panado, okay. and then you let them you let the panado uh, wait, and then after that you take. Do they have like cramps or what? Yes, the it's of the, the cramp-like pains and some okay. the menstrual, you know, the yeah, menstrual like cramp-like pains. pains. Yeah, but okay. some of them it's severe because people are not the same. And yeah. you explain to them that yeah. people are not the same. You know, the pains are not the same. You, they, they are going to talk to each other most. I'm bleeding. I'm not. People yeah. are not. They are not the same. They okay. must expect that. The yeah. one might not. The tablet might not work. You must explain everything. That the tablet might fail. You might need to be repeated. You must. You just explain everything oh, just okay. before. So does it sometimes not work the tablet? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. And then if the tablet doesn't work, then you refer the clients to the doctors and they. Okay. These are the. Equipment. This is the equipment part of the equipment that we use. The other one is going to see SSD because mm -hmm. we have to take them for sterilization. Yes. We are using the duck bills, we are using yeah. the forceps, we are using the vaselams, and also these ones. This is okay. an MVA plus a aspirator. These are the cannulas, but you get them in different sizes. They start from a size four. Okay. It depends now on the parity. Yes. That means how number of the how many babies you've got, okay, and how also are. how big yeah. you are and how yeah. big your cervix is. These ones normally we use them to dilate the cervix, you know, mm -hmm. just to make the cervix become dilated, and then you take the size that you think it fits. But before you do, most you're going to do the pelvic examination just to see now uh, uh, how the, big the, the cervix yeah. is. Yes, yeah. we do that, okay. and then you take the size that you think it's it's, it's gonna fit. Okay. Then, yeah. You must first create a vacuum. How yes. do you do that? You close here, yeah. and then you pull. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then okay. she's going to bring the connection. We've got connection, different types of connection. We've got a blue, we've got a brown. For the blue, you are going to use with a size 5, and a size 4, and a size 6 to okay. connect now the cannulas. Yeah. And for this one, you're going to use a brown. Yeah. And for a size 8, you are going to use a white. They've got colors. They are color-coded. Yeah. 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 And then you create a vacuum and then you connect now the, okay. the connection. And then this, you first insert in circular motions, in circular movements. Yes. And then into when, the, the into the cervix. And then when you feel that you have reached the fundus, you are going to feel yeah. that you have reached the fundus, you pull it back just a little bit, yeah. just now to mark. Yeah. So that when you are doing the actual vacuum, you don't go beyond your mark. Because oh. you don't want to perforate now the, the uterus. Okay. Yes. Oh, so the mark is that where the little yes. number is? Yes, or? you oh, see the I numbers. See. They, they yeah. are going to go and you feel that you have reached the fundus. Yes. You feel that the cannula is not going any more further. Yeah. And then you pull it back, just a little bit back, yeah. so that you can see now your mark. So okay. now when you are busy doing, you are watching there, so that you don't go beyond your mark. Blue for a 4, a 5, and a 6. It's the little ones. Yes. Yeah. So then you connect here. Okay. And then... For each patient, you must have two of each size, so yes. that if it falls, you know okay. you're going to take another one. Remember, we don't want to cause any infections to Okay, this so it's all sterile. It's all sterile, time. and then you connect, and then you can oh. fit. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. then you can, you're going to see the product are going to rush in. in. First, it yeah. might be the, the, the hind waters, 
and then you, are, you when you when you are doing the eye vacuum, you must do in secular movement. Yeah. Watching now the the, the cannula and also watching the pain to the mm. client. As you are emptying, the client is going to experience more pain, you mm. know, and everything. So now when the uterus is empty, you're going to feel the gritty sensation, mm -hmm. and the, the uterus is going to grab now the cannula. Okay. And also you're going to see some of the foam, so you must watch for all, it, it can be either of those. Yeah. Some of them you can see that there's nothing that is wrong, it's only fresh blood, then you know that the uterus is empty. empty. Yes. And the amount of fluid that comes out, is that about that? It goes here. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's it's never more than that. Was that it's, about When it is it more, is? you're going to see that there's no suctioning coming. Yes. When it is more, you're going to see that there's no mm -hmm. suctioning. Then you close here, you disconnect. Yes. Then you're going to expel. Okay. And then create another vacuum and again, and then you from the beginning start again. from the beginning. Yes. And how long does it take? To the do procedure that? itself is plus it's it's less than ten minutes, especially okay. if the client is cooperative. It's less yeah. than ten minutes. So remember, I said the more you wait, the lesser now the the, 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 the minutes that you take inside the uterus. Oh, I the more you let them wait, yeah. the 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 the, 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 the cyto take yeah. you Some of them, when you go inside the uterus, you'll find that. The products are already in the mouth. You just need oh, it's to. On yeah. Already expanding. Yeah, it's already okay. expanded. And the um, is it painful? It is. They say do it people, is painful. Do they scream? So they must... do scream. Yeah. They do them. That's why you need to 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 always communicate with them. Yeah. What you you're know? doing? Yeah. It's, I'm 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 almost there. You know, just to talk to them. Do you find yeah. that upsetting? Say. <laughs> or you used to it now? No, I, I'm used to it, but not that just those, you'll find that some of them are 14 years, you know, you, you feel for them.